That doesn't sound good at all. We're gonna have to check this out. Hey friends, it's Len here from 1A Auto. So this person had a noise while they were driving down the road. They diagnosed it as a brake issue, ordered some parts, tried replacing it, and they still have a noise. They want me to figure it out, so let's get into it. Now before I put this on the lift, I obviously took it for a road test. I did hear a noise. It sounded like it was coming from the right front, but I always check all the brakes. We'll come right over here while it's up on the lift. We'll check the front end, make sure it's a little tight. I feel a little bit of wheel bearing movement, but it's not very bad. Give it a spin. Seems good enough. Now this sounds good, but I can't really see it very well. So I'm gonna have to take off all the wheels so we can get a better look. Oh yeah, these brakes look pretty new. Rotor, pads, flex hose. I even see a little bit of lube underneath the tins on the brackets and along where the slider pins are. This is actually pretty good. Andy replaced some other front end stuff. Not bad. All right. Oh, that bearing feels good too. Oh. oh. That didn't sound good at all. Let's check this side out. What the? He did one side brakes and not the other? That doesn't make any sense. Let's see what he did in the back. Hmm, this side looks new. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. He did pads, rotors, and a caliper on this side. Not bad. Okay, last wheel. Wait a minute. These look like old brakes. This looks horrible. What did this guy even do? That's good enough. Oh, what, what's that noise? I just fixed the left front. Oh, what is it coming from the right front now? Okay, so I see exactly what happened here. This person went ahead and just replaced one side front brakes. They went to the rear and replaced just one side back there as well. That doesn't make any sense to me. When you do brakes, you make sure you do them as a pair. Both sides front brakes, both sides rear. Now we've got one of these rotors in front of us and the brakes are in very poor condition. This gives me a perfect time to talk about some braking issues you might come to find that are gonna make some noise. Now one of the simplest place we're gonna start is to go ahead and spin this and see exactly where the noise is coming from. For me in particular, it sounds like it's coming from the backing plate. Now I can see that this is pretty much pressing right up against the rotor right there. Ah, what is this thing? Oh, huh, look at that. Other issues you can find with your backing plate is either it's damaged or even just peened over and hitting up against the rotor while it's spinning. Since we're talking about things hitting, it's common for there to be rot buildup on your rotor. When stuff like this happens, it could potentially hit up against something and cause some noise. Now also talking about the rotor, I also want to mention the braking surface. You're going to have an outer braking surface that you can see from out here, and on the other side you'll see the same thing. It's common to see a whole bunch of rust on the braking surface, especially if your vehicle's been sitting for a while. Any of this rust or debris buildup can cause some noise and even a brake pulsation. Something to keep in mind. Assuming the backing plate and the rotor look fine, let's continue on to the caliper itself. Let's have a look at the flex hose real quick because it leads to the caliper. We want to look and make sure it doesn't look like it's restricted in any way. Sometimes these will be twisted, that's going to restrict the flow, and the brake caliper is going to be stuck in the on position. That's going to cause a lot of noise over time. With the caliper out of the way, let's have a close look at the brake pads while they're still in the caliper bracket. Looking at the outer pad, I can see this one is directly up against the rotor. It's worn down to the point that is probably metal to metal. We'll have a look at that in a second. This one right here still has plenty of meat on it. Now, why would it even look like that? Generally, there's a couple things that could have happened. Either one of the pads is stuck inside the bracket and it cannot move around, or there's a problem with one of your slider pins. Looking at the pad material itself, I can see that it doesn't look like it's very damaged, but it does have a lot of heat marks on it. Overall, heat marks aren't necessarily very bad, but it could potentially cause a noise. It's something that you wanna pay attention to. And if your pads were stuck inside the bracket like we just saw there, you're gonna have constant friction on your rotor, which of course is gonna be slowing down the car and costing you gas money while you're driving down the road. Let's get this out of here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this other one. Looks like it's, ugh. Oh, okay, so we've definitely got something here making noise. 
looking at this, I can see that it's completely shiny all the way around. It looks as though it's missing the entire pad material on the metal aspect of the pad. Also, down here, that's where the wear indicator is. A wear indicator is something that's gonna cause a squealing noise when you're driving, when your pads get worn low. Essentially, it's supposed to let you know ahead of time before you get to this point, which overall is very unsafe. Oh, <laughs> well, with the pads out of there, let's have a look at these tins. Now the tin is supposed to go in between the caliper bracket and the pad itself. Looking at this tin, you can tell that it's in very bad condition. It could potentially be hitting up against the rotor and that's a severe safety issue. You don't want anything like this to get caught in between the pad and rotor, it might seize up your brakes. Now we can move along to talking about the caliper slider pins and their protective boots. Now if you saw that your pads were wearing at an angle, like maybe one of the pads had plenty of meat on one side, but as you move to the other end, it was worn down almost metal to metal. Typically that's due to either the pads being frozen in the bracket, like I showed you before, or even one of the slider pins is broken or damaged or stuck inside the caliper bracket. To check that, I always like to grab onto them and give them a wiggle. Sometimes they move freely, other times they don't want to move at all. Now what you want to do is just go ahead and grab onto it and you're going to slide it right out of here. Give the pan a quick inspection and make sure it's not rusted and rotten or damaged in any way. We'll slide the boot right off of here so we can give that a close inspection as well. Now for the boot, it's supposed to protect it from moisture and debris. You want to go ahead and squish it around and make sure you don't see a tear in it anywhere. If you see a tear someplace, there could be an area for moisture to make its way in and then you're going to have an issue with the caliper slider, more than likely braking issues slash noises. This one, well, does have a tear. That's not good. Now with everything that I said about what could potentially cause a squealing or even a scraping noise from your brakes, would it make any sense to only replace the pads but leave your existing rotors? Well, it doesn't to me. You're gonna put brand new pads on there, go driving down the road, hear a noise, diagnose it, and now come to find out you have to replace the rotors and the pads again. Doesn't make any sense and it's not gonna save you any money in the long run. Okay friends, so I went ahead and I fixed this noise. The way that I fixed it was to make sure that both sides of the brakes were completed. They went ahead and they did one side on the front and on the rear. I wanted to make sure that everything was perfect. After this, I'm gonna take it for a road test. I used our quality 1A Auto parts, so I'm sure that there's gonna be no noise. Now I hope you liked the video, I hope you learned something. If there's something in this video that you think might be interesting to somebody, go ahead and share it with them. It would mean everything to me. If you like the video or even love the video, go ahead and smash on the like button for me, I mean the world. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell, that way there you, all of your friends, can be kept up with all of our latest content. Thanks. I just fixed the left hand front. What's that noise coming from the right? What did I do wrong? Hey, -o. I can check that out for you, pal. <laughs> It's Len! I'll get it in the studio. All right.